we have uh, some feedback from Christopher. Hey Dan, thank you for responding to my initial email. You asked me to get back to you. So, no questions, just getting back to you. And I think I had the same reaction as you said you did on the original Velocity Diet. First, you asked my age. I'm turning 56 this week, single dad with a 33-year-old special needs son at home, so my, work are, my workouts are at home, but I have a fairly good setup. Some limitations, had a hip labrum reconstruction surgery ouch, 18 months ago, and also diagnosed with spinal stenosis and a slip disc and a hip spine arthritis, and it's, he says it's a family thing, okay. Hip still gives me some trouble, spine trouble mostly controlled through daily core exercises from physical therapy. My velocity diet experience was interesting. Two weeks I was semi-hungry, and then some during the first day, first three shakes, then felt way too full in the evening. So he's doing the new version of it. We do shakes and a meal a day. Not the real one that I did, where it's just six protein shakes. I didn't feel well after the workout shake, cut in half after the first week, never wanted the bedtime shake, cut it in half after the first week, eliminated it after two weeks. Oh, okay, so I didn't know it was a bedtime shake. I lost 7.5 pounds over the month, 1.5 inches from the waist. That's very good, which I was happy with. I did the park bench generator four days a week, five days a week in the last two weeks. Boy, I noticed the same thing. My training, first week was terrible. Second week, that's easy. Third week, let's do everything. Fourth, I felt great. I also did fasted cardio in the morning, usually aerodyne row, rucking when I could. Starting about week three, I didn't feel hungry during the day with the limited shakes. Huh. So coming out of the velocity diet, as you suggested, my emotional attachment with food, which I get, I also love to cook, diminished somewhat. So when I went off the velocity diet, I started intermittent fasting, dropped the breakfast, added a real lunch about 11. And after two weeks, it seems to be working. I've lost an additional two pounds. Real stop here. I lost more weight after the velocity diet than I did during the velocity diet. I got noticeably leaner after the velocity diet than during it. And Chris was right. It was a, it was the psychological change. Uh, I would buy just, my lunches were just vegetables. My snack was raw green beans. And I don't know why I'm still not doing it. I looked good and I felt great. Of course, it worked so well I stopped doing it. Uh, pick up on this. I, I've lost an additional two pounds, half inch from waist. And except for the two hours uh, before lunch, I'm not starving. It has been interesting. I still miss my breakfast, but I don't feel I need my breakfast. I'm also feeling the need to snack less during the day. I've also been reading more and fasting and longevity, and I'm starting to think there may be something there. I agree. I, 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 just, I just know what I know. I know what I feel. Um, going to keep up the park bench generator for a while. Looking at moving to the easy strength for fat loss soon. Finally caught up with podcasts. Also the ones with Pat Flynn, which are great. You're welcome. And just finished Attempts. Still think 40 Years with the Whistle is your best book. You know, I agree with you, and people don't want to buy it. Uh, I, my, the, I'm not saying that my story is that great. I'm just saying that my mentors were that great. Yeah. Um, I see it as a semi-history lesson on how you got here and a great tr tribute to your mentors. So I didn't even know. Uh, thank you for saying that. Well, I live for this kind of thing, Christopher. I live for the feedback because I think what you did there is that now the next time someone asks me about the velocity diet is I feel like I have more tools in my pocket to help them through either talk them out of it or talk them into it. Or if someone's struggling here and there, these feedback questions really help me a lot and, and I really appreciate it. Uh, coaching is a feedback loop, man. It is just a constant feedback loop. And uh, it, we always, I like to describe it as uh, sailing a ship, sailing a ship across the ocean. You know, you do a lot of this, you know, you, you, but if you, as long as you know you're going, a good captain will get you there. And that's enough for today. Thank you.